I have been joined by Honorable Roxanne Nelson de Fiamepo, who is MP for South Dai. Good morning. Morning. How morning. are you? Oh, I'm tired, but I'm okay. Oh, why are you tired? It's just Thursday. Yeah. Who's making you tired? Or who's uh, making you work. tired? Oh, no, it's the work. Okay. The ups and the downs. Okay. Yes, they're driving around. <laughs> you drive yourself? I drive myself. Okay. So I believe in my driving, so I drive myself. So uh, driving between the constituency and Accra is difficult. <coughs> You're making it work. Yes. Okay, we're proud of you. And we also have Honorable Issa Fuseni, MP of Kai Kwe North. Good morning. You haven't Good been morning, here Isha. in forever. Yeah. Why? It's amazing. Um, I don't know how come... Um, City, you were TV once a regular. What like happened that. to you? I don't know. I, I will have to find out. I have to, He's busy complaining. I have, I have to actually, <laughs> I actually have to find out. How it is his turn now. He's campaigning. He's campaigning. <laughs> is, that, is that what you've been up to? Oh, campaigning. Yes, you will do some campaigning. I mean, we have we have a contest coming up. Mm -hmm. But um, when you are in a comfortable lead, I don't think you have to spend too much time. <laughs> Can you believe this? Yeah, I mean, oh. you, you have to be confident. I, I believe that. I'm, not 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 the other type of comfortable is lead. It, I mean, the real sense of being in a comfortable lead. Okay. Yes. It <laughs> we heard you. So we're going to start over our first story. I'm reading from the Daily Graphic, and it says here, my activity unrelated to coup. That's coming from ACP Agojo. I was, I'm going to quote him. He said, I was on a WhatsApp platform unrelated to any alleged coup. Nobody can bog me down. I will stand for this. I will stand for this. I am strong as anything. Thank you very much for your support. So he said this yesterday when he went to Kaneshi for court. And of course, I'm going to continue on with what he says. He goes on to say, I am as strong as anything. I am not going to be bogged down. Nobody can bog me down. I have not committed any crime. I have done nothing wrong. I will stand for this till the end. They cannot break me down at all. So Honorable, let me start here with you. The ACP is saying he didn't do anything wrong with the WhatsApp group he was in. And even if he had done anything wrong, is WhatsApp group enough to go take a man for plotting to destabilize the state? Good morning to you again, Jifa, and good morning to my colleague, um, Honorable Dafia Mepo, and good morning to your viewers. Um, and also a good morning to my constituency. Oh. That's very important. <laughs> yeah, that's very important. And, um, it's, it's, a, it's by the agrees that I'm sitting here. Um, this matter of um, investigations into alleged coup cool plotters, I think we have to look at it in a bigger um, scheme. Okay. Um, whether or not um, the DCOP, is that it? ACP. Well, the ACP, ACP Agbozo did right or not. Um, this whole um, arrest that was um, undertaken by the National Security Outfit, mm -hmm wasn't something that was done overnight. Yeah. Apparently, they have been trailed over months, uh, it was 18 months or so, mm -hmm. of painstaking investigations, watching the members of the group, maybe following the chats that they've been having, following meetings outside of the group, who they are meeting, what they are saying, and where this thing was going to lead, until it got to a point that the National Security Outfit thought that it was time to break these people up mm -hmm. and actually go in for the kill. The case is still like the lawyers will say, maybe I, we don't want to be prejudicial. We don't want to preempt what the, the, law, the, the courts are going to come up with. But for me, it is, it is reassuring that um, somebody is watching over the security of this nation. Mm -hmm. Somebody is doing their work. Mm -hmm. Somebody has been able to identify a particular group of people who are saying or planning things not in the interest of the nation. Mm. For a uniformed man like the ACP to be on such a platform, mm -hmm. for a uniformed man like the ACP to be privileged in having such damning conversations on a particular platform like that. All he said was not to have, right for something like the Arab Spring. Not to have. Is that, that, is that, that so is, damning? If I, that might have been his contribution. Uh -huh. What were others saying on the platform? But he's being picked up for his contribution, which is that the and, country is right for and, something like that, an, and an Arab Spring. my question is, mm -hmm. what were others also saying on the platform that he was privy to, 
that he kept quiet and the fact that he kept quiet and even contributed by saying the country is ripe for something like that might, that, that that is his opinion that he could share but on such a whatsapp group which had the the, the intention mm -hmm. to destabilize the peace that we have in this country mm -hmm. and for a uniformed man like him a high ranking police officer mm -hmm. acp assistant commissioner of police to be on such a platform and be quiet <laughs> I, I i really don't see how come he could he could actually say that he wasn't part but, but of all, the plot or this is I, a, i'm not this trying is, to we're, we're to in a democracy what, yes we're yes. in a democracy and mm. in ghana we literally translate the democracy as kebi namin kebi yes people are free to express themselves however yes. way they want yes for a man to be picked up for something he said on a WhatsApp platform. Yes, you in, see, in a let's, country let's not belittle, that people are entitled to their freedom of speech. If I, let's not belittle the fact that it's on a WhatsApp, WhatsApp platform. Hmm. It's a group for threatening it to destabilize a, a state. You go it after a man a for what well, he said remember, on a WhatsApp I had, platform. I had somebody on your network that in the process that led to the apprehension of the ACP, mm -hmm. he had met some other people. He had met some other people mm -hmm. at specific venues. They had held discussions. Well, his lawyers are what saying they said, he was picked what up they because didn't of the say, platform. Oh, I mean, it couldn't be limited when those other people are also on the platform. Okay. What they said at the, those meetings, what they discussed, myself and you probably are not able to, 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 to say. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's reassuring that somebody in the security apparatus is actually doing their work by ensuring that all those elements, mm -hmm. whether be it military people, be it police people, be it civilians, who have that intent mm -hmm. of destabilizing the peace that we enjoy in Ghana, should be apprehended and dealt with in the right way. For okay. me, it, 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 it means that I, I, can, I can go home and sleep. I can go about my normal duties, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm so reassured now mm -hmm. that anybody who will also harbor such evil intentions mm -hmm. should be aware that they are being watched. Okay. And for me, once you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. Now, his lawyers are speaking, and they're saying even the process of taking him to court is not fair. Um, I'm going to quote what his lawyer, Mr. Hamdiya Mohammed, uh, said. They, they are, they're saying that the court does not have the jurisdiction to entertain this matter. The court, as stated in Article 14.3 of the 1992 Constitution, refers to the court which can entertain the matter and assess whether or not to grant bail or remand the suspect. This is an attempt by the prosecution to delay bail for the suspect. Just because this has been done in the past does not mean that it is a right way, a right procedure to follow. We therefore implore the court to rise to the occasion and decline jurisdiction. I've heard people who have uh, the, the, the knowledge and experience in such issues mm -hmm. um, expressing their opinions as to where such a... Um, matters will have to start from whether mm -hmm. the district court, whether the circuit court, whether wherever. That is that is the right of the prosecutors. I believe in their competence. I believe that they have the requisite experience, knowledge to do their work. Mm -hmm. The fact that somebody is even aware of this and taking a whether or not he's being hounded and no, I mean, but for I think a crime as serious as threatening to destabilize the country, shouldn't we at you least know that follow recently, the right procedure? Until recently crimes like that um, first degree felonies mm -hmm. um, were not even billable offenses mm -hmm. until recently. It mm -hmm. is good that we've had a Supreme Court ruling that has moved us beyond that. And so we, but I mean, those are all procedures and processes. I'm sure my colleague here will understand better as a lawyer than I do. Okay. But they are, they are processes that I don't want to get in there. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that we should get prejudicial. We should allow the investigations to go on. We should allow the prosecutors to do their work. If really these people are guilty of the offense that they are being charged of, I'm mm -hmm. sure that um, whatever, whatever, um, um, Deterring, deterring um, punishments that has to be given to them should be should be okay. given to them. I have no problem at all with the processes, okay. and I I I I I just dug my heart off for the security apparatus. Okay. I think they are doing the human. Honourable, my dear, thank you. Let me customarily say good morning to my constituents. 
in Teki Kwali Kwevetong. Oh. <laughs> and um, say kudos to them for receiving the president heartily on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it, was, it was beautiful to receive the president in your constituency. So. Uh, were you there? I was. You were there? I was, oh, yes. Good. yes I, was. I know you're a good man. I, I do the question so, in honor of right. I, <laughs> uh, So that's by the by. You see, Jifa, treason is a very, very serious offense to commit in any republic. When we say cool plotters, it, uh, that, is, that is the street man's term. Mm. But in law, it is treason. It is a conduct that, when we say conduct is treasonable, it means it's a conduct, it is the, it's, it's a kind of conduct that the state proscribes at the highest level. That is why the punishment for liability or culpability is often death anywhere. Mm -hmm. You are executed. If you are found liable for having engaged in a treasonable act. So, it is shocking to hear that where people gather, and they have spoons, they have kitchen knives, they have WhatsApp messages. <laughs> we want to interpret that to constitute a treasonable conduct for which we want to prosecute them uh, on, on such charges. It is so heavy a charge that you don't, you don't even take a judge, a single judge, to trial. Normally, it takes a panel of three judges if the arraignment uh, the arraignment, I agree, the arraignment could be done at the magisterial level. Procedurally, the magistrate court can, can do the committer. But when the bill of indictment is prepared and all that, it is the high court that does the arraignment. And the arraignment is that, that is where the trial will begin. But the district court can... When we say commit, they will, they, will, they, will, they will take your plea. You take your plea. They, are you guilty or not guilty? If you are not guilty, um, issues of bail will have to come in and all. So procedurally, I don't have a problem with the with the with the, with the, with the uh, sending the matter before the Kanishi court. Okay. So but, you don't think they are trying to delay bail? No, no. Procedurally, they, they can okay. do the they they can do the commit. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. But. Is the arraignment that will have to be done at the high court. The trial has to be done at the high court. Okay. But obviously, they are not ready. Who, I don't who is they? It, prosecution, the, the Republic. Hmm. It was a way of just taking to the court. They know that the court may, may exercise uh, powers by saying that I decline jurisdiction. But they needed to explain to the court that no, we are not before you for the arraignment. Hmm. We are before you for committal. Mm -hmm. So you must take the plea, and when the plea is taken, then they go back and prepare the indictment. The bill of indictment is a serious thing. That's where they charge it and everything is done. Then it is taken to the high court for proper arraignment. Now, it is such a serious offense that the, the, the chief justice normally won't, won't, pan, won't panel the court with a single judge. It has to be a panel of three. In addition to a panel of three, the trial will have to be uh, one that we call uh, uh, trial by jury, jury okay. trial. So we we'll have to go, we'll have to go to town and look for seven Ghanaian citizens of good conduct, of good morality, of sound. But before and, we get to the trial, that. do you think his offence is enough to pick him you up? You know, I, I am making the point. Okay. That, that is how serious such an offense is. So it is not even trying like arm robbery. Mm. They, in their books, they may belong to the same category, but this one is the highest of all the offenses we have on our criminal, on our criminal books. Mm -hmm. So the seriousness alone tells you that you don't, you don't just go about picking people and slapping charges of treason on them. Well, he's not just anyone, he's an ACP. Exactly. And what is comical, what is comical that I saw yesterday about prosecution's conduct was that you are, you have, you are, you've, 
you've arrested someone, a senior police officer, on charges of treason. You have actually detained him overnight or for a few days and supposedly brought him before court and the man was in uniform. Mm -hmm. Can you believe this? Somebody that you seriously think that, but this time it should be on indictment. It should have been, should have been suspended from the service on grounds of that allegation alone. But so the whole thing is comical. You understand my point? So it tells you that the cry that the man was involved in plotting a coup is simply a hoax. Hmm. No wonder the, the Alajo people, I, and I believe that this is also related, they were not charged with treason or coup plotting. Mm -hmm. They eventually, when, when we read the charge sheet, it was all about unlawful manufacturing of, of, of firearms mm -hmm. and sale of, unlawful sale of firearms. You, you, you understand my point. So we should be very careful how we shout coo 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 when there's no coo. Well, the government said it's destabilization, not necessarily. No, coup. but I am telling you that when you begin to use phraseologies like that, words like that, mm -hmm. you are talking about decapitating the republic. You are upsetting the republic. And any conduct that seeks to unsettle the republic is treasonable conduct. Okay. That's uh, the point I'm making. lawyers are speaking, and they feel as though it's a witch hunt. But the Deputy Minister of Information does not agree. He doesn't feel like it's a witch hunt, and that lawyers just focus on the case. What do you think? Yes, I also believe that it's a witch hunt. How because so? why? Why is it not a witch hunt? Because we have been told that they participated in a seminar and made very uh, this, the, uh, distasteful comments about the structure of the police service, about how things infiltration, the pollution of the service, politicization of the service and all that. And this comment didn't go down well with uh, the top hierarchy where he also belongs. But you know, things are hierarchically structured. So even though you are a senior officer, there are, there are people who are also more senior to you. And I hear, and I hear uh, ACP Kofi Bwachi or Commissioner COP Kofi Bwachi was also invited. Mm -hmm. You know, but I don't know whether uh, his situation said that they couldn't slap any charges against him. But and my 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 submission this morning is that we should be careful. Mm. We should be careful how we trivialize such serious things. You, who do you think is trivializing it? The government. The is prosecution. Okay. You know this. I will not even say government. Okay. The prosecution is trivializing. That is. This is the conduct by the state. It is the state that is making this allegation. Mm -hmm. Okay. And as a state, we should be careful. Mm -hmm. These are two serious matters that. We shouldn't be in a rush to, to label. Don't you think the state will have enough evidence to, to, to make a charge like threatening to destabilize the state? Where is the evidence? Maybe they're, they're just not releasing it to the general you know, so, so why do you, so why do you, why these, you know, uh, rust matters? Why? I, I am making a point. You see, this is why I'm so emotional. I, I am saying that when you say somebody is guilty of treason, it is no child's play in law. It is not. In fact, when you are convicted and the judge has to sentence you, the judge has to wear red. He has to remove his wig before he will sentence you. It has to be death, according to our books. They may, they may convict you and sentence you to death. The execution may not take place, but you will be convicted. So then the prosecutor should have had more than just a WhatsApp you see, contribution. They, 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 even the claim that it was, it was a message he sent on WhatsApp, which is the basis alone is so distasteful. Mm. A WhatsApp message. To what effect? Now we are gathering intent from, I don't even know how many, I know a WhatsApp message can take a maximum of about 250 people. Intent of 250 people. And where are they? The initial, initial persons that were arrested, they are being slapped with the charge of unlawful manufacture of firearm. If the conduct is related. And, and they seem to be using similar phrases. When they were arrested, say they were cool plotters. They wanted to attack the Flastaff house. But the technical charges that were leveled against them were unlawful manufacture of firearms. I haven't seen the charge sheet in this matter. Mm -hmm. 
But the journalists themselves too should be careful how they quickly refer to his conduct as one of cool plotting. Mm. Yes, it's a senior police officer. He belongs to a group. And his duty to the state is to be on the lookout for where a crime is about to, to be committed or where persons are in the process of committing a crime. He's supposed to effect an arrest. Even a citizen's arrest, as citizens, we are empowered under law to effect an arrest where... So shouldn't he have known better than to contribute exactly. to the So if they speak in those terms, mm -hmm. I can align my thought with them. Okay. Okay? As a professional police officer, then it means he's in actions. Mm -hmm. Even then, he, he ought not to be arraigned criminally. But internally, there could be internal disciplinary proceedings. Mm -hmm. That as a senior police officer, you belong to this WhatsApp group. And these discussions have gone on. And you fail to report this matter for our action. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we think that it constitutes misconduct pursuant to the, the police internal, internal disciplinary uh, uh, code. So they can do that. Okay. Okay. We have to go for it. Yes. Break, so they can do that. Okay. But to say that it's conduct, it's a bit of history. yes. Okay. It, it's, uh, it's, it's too far fetched. Okay. Yes, this, this is still matter. Breakfast Daily on CCTV. Thank you so much for staying with us. Remember, let us know what you're thinking with the hashtag Breakfast Daily and the WhatsApp line 0550 585 Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Thank you so much for staying with us. Uh, before the break, we were discussing um, the ACP Agojo saying that his activity was not related to a coup plot. And Honorable Defi Amrikwa was just wrapping up for yes. us. Yes. So my, my point is that issues about um, coup, mm -hmm. uh, toppling the republic, and so serious. So when such matters, when issues crop up, prosecution should, or the state investigators should take their time in giving information respect to the conduct in question mm. so that they will be appropriately placed in their contest and, and where they deserve. Mm. For me, it is more of a professional misconduct in this matter than a criminal conduct. Okay. You know, and so Thank we you. should be careful. Yes. Thank you. Honorable, your last words on this, and we'll move Jifa, on to the next topic. You see, when, when the initial yeah. arrests were made and we saw the cachet of weapons... That and were people displayed. made fun of it on people social media. People made fun yeah. of it. People made fun of it. Subsequently, we have seen the involvement of some top military people. Over WhatsApp activity? The fact that it's my brother, if you say a cache of weapons, weapons today. including kitchen, kitchen knife knives and, and all that, that, it yeah. cannot be a cache of weapons. Okay. Today. So he has a, and and, and it, it wasn't just what, what was found. Okay. They, they had a, some a, flash drives for, and stuff like flash that. Flash drives and whatever. But they, they had a, 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 a should I, 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 I wanted to say even say a plant. <laughs> <laughs> or somebody Generation. who had a capacity to be manufacturing more. Okay. So if they were given maybe a year from the point where they were arrested, only God knows what they were. So shouldn't a charge be perhaps and you see, Jifa, manufacturing we, arms but what as done. opposed to threatening to destabilize we keep, we keep the saying, state? We keep saying over we WhatsApp, ahead of ourselves? our contribution on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. What type of social media? Yes, Today, but these are senior the police extent, officers, honorable. If they really wanted to commit a coup d'etat, wouldn't they apply a certain level of diligence to this? It's going to go I, on I WhatsApp sure, and say, we're going to just do this. I am sure that five years ago, when 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 we look at where Twitter has gotten to today, mm -hmm. we couldn't have imagined that it was going to be an official mouthpiece for a personality like the president of the U.S. Okay, that has more uh, to do with that the, the individual, uh, not uh, social. So media. now you are. It has a lot more to do with that type am, of what, person. What, what, that, what that, I want that, to point out, what, what I want to honorable, respectfully, I am not. I am not. not you can come not. in when I when I, I, I want to ask you the question. <laughs> I am not. But that issue has more to what do I'm with Donald is, Trump than what innovation. What I'm saying is, and, and what I, I still can't comprehend is the mm -hmm. fact that you keep saying that on a WhatsApp group, on a WhatsApp group, what can be done on WhatsApp today? But that's okay. media. Okay. People fall in love and get married via WhatsApp. This is threatening. People plan the most serious. Honorable. This is threatening to destabilize people the country. Plan, people plan the most serious of, of, of programs on WhatsApp. Okay. As, as a corporate person, I'm mm -hmm. sure your company has some sort of WhatsApp platform that mm -hmm. you interact with. As a member of parliament, as a member of parliament, belong, our parties do. 
So what cannot be done on WhatsApp? But these and are for, senior men of our security uh, agencies. That, Shouldn't we attach that even, a that, certain level of respect to, to, to the merits they have? That's even that they would worse. even do something as basic as plan a, a, a digital basic plot on WhatsApp. Basic. Senior policemen, if I say it, basic. Senior policemen of this basic. country. That even, that even makes it worse. That they have been on a platform and issues like this were coming up. And senior police officers mm -hmm. were on there and they were quiet. Shouldn't that just result in perhaps them being punished? With them being punished? Yes, that does not mean if you're quiet about something, no, no, does that no, mean I don't, I don't it's your consent? So. Look, when when if the you're security quiet about an issue, does that when mean the you're security part of, the of the nation is at stake, mm -hmm. and then you are quiet, an ACP assistant commissioner of police at the next rank, he is capable of being IGP. Mm -hmm. At the next rank, he's capable of so being that means his the silence, IGP of Ghana. His silence it's should serious. Equate. It's serious. It silence means that he had something more so the stakes in the group were higher okay. and when yeah, his name keeps yeah. coming up and mm -hmm. i'm saying that he was apprehended not just on the basis of the whatsapp mm -hmm. they had actually trailed him he had been at meetings and met other members of the whatsapp group okay what was discussed outside okay. of that group okay yeah. That, that's what fine. was discussed? That's so I think fine. that we should we should we should just allow um, tempest to calm down, not be emotional about this, mm -hmm. but be uh, reassured mm -hmm. the work of the security service. But, but you are emotional about this. Please wrap well, up for us. Yes, Jifa, uh, it's it's very important that we distinguish the, clearly the issues from street talk. Mm. Look, we have decriminalized speech. Mm -hmm. Speech can be contained in several forms, particularly in the media. Mm. Now, when we speak of media, we have two forms of the media, the print media and the electronic media. Mm -hmm. WhatsApp constitutes part of the electronic media. Mm -hmm. Now, when I, when, I, when I make comments by way of exercising my right to freedom. I know that my freedom ends where somebody else knows begins. Mm -hmm. But when I make comments, which comments the state now wants to interpret to constitute criminal conduct, I have a problem with that. Why? Because the, the president, as he is now, it was under, under his, 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 his tenure as minister. Tenure as uh, attorney, attorney general. general. Mm -hmm. That he led parliament to 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 expunge a criminal libel law yes but this man oh, is on. an acp he's hold not on. just an average that Joe, is why i have so that is why no that says, is why i have made that is why platform. i have made the point that in, there are internal mechanisms to check his conduct professionally if you are speaking about his professional conduct i will align with your thought but when you say that the things he had said now he says that he has held meetings or he has participated in meetings. What are the details of those meetings? But sometimes, if, honorable, if they have, if, 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 uh, if respectfully, if, 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 if a policeman training. stands by yes. while a crime is being committed, yes. can we say that he's a participant because he could have done something about it and he did absolutely nothing? Or we say, well, let's just fire him because he didn't do his job? You see, according to the law, mm -hmm. where a policeman or a citizen like me where a crime is being committed or persons are planning to commit a crime, I have the right to effect what we call a citizen's arrest. And he, as a policeman, has the right to exercise his professional powers okay. to, to arrest any person okay. that is about to commit Please a crime in the process of committing a crime and all that, or has committed a crime, is absconding mm -hmm. from the scene of crime. Okay. But we, they have not been able to establish any such thing Okay, that's fine. Ah. Thank you. We have Any to move, we have yeah, to move on now. The investigations have just started. They're still ongoing. Yeah. Yeah. We'll move on to our, like our, and our next of crime. There's something mm -hmm. we call... There's something we call... Uh, an abetment of crime. Law. I, I'm going to say we're going to, we're going to move on now to the facile. next topic. Prima facie. You have established prima facie in this matter. You haven't been here for a while now. The state has established prima facie in this matter. Let's speak when I ask you a well. question. MPs receive renew calls for enhanced security. I'm reading from citynewsroom.com, and it says here, members of parliament have renewed calls 
for enhanced security. This follows this weekend's near-death experience of Inshayeso MP Kennedy Kankam, where three armed men broke into his house. According to the majority leader, Oseiche Mensabun, so the government must take urgent steps to beef up security for members of parliament. I'm going to quote him briefly. The country should make a determined effort to provide security for members of parliament. We must be very decisive about this because we cannot continue to endanger the lives of members of parliament. Many of us have suffered robberies, highway robberies, because many of us can are not accompanied by security personnel. Two of our colleagues were attacked by armed robbers as in Sawem and Suhum. At one other between Koforidia and Bonsu Junction. Two of them were shot at, but the robbers missed it. Mr. Speaker, I think the time has come for the state to take a decision on the security of members of parliament. So, Honorable, let me start with you on this one. Uh, do you feel safe? Uh, or do you, do you feel as though you need more protection? Because it's, it's a real threat that some of your colleagues uh, have been you know, in danger because of the nature of their, their work. Because of, I, I like the final bit, because of the nature of their work. You see, um, whether or not I feel safe is, is, is one bit of it. But um, the security of the, of the member of parliament should be looked at in the context of the generality of the Ghanaian populace. Mm. I, 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 I don't think that um, MPs are just being singled out because they are MPs. Okay. Or ministers are being singled out because, or even disease. Mm. Or even disease. Mm -hmm. But you see, over time, the security apparatus, um, assessment of the threat to specific um, units should be should be evaluated. Mm -hmm. Whatever assessment is being done should be evaluated. Do over you agree time. with the majority leader? Over time, I, I I agree with him. Okay. I agree with him because look, the the, the work of the member of parliament is evolving. Hmm. It's evolving. Um, we started off, and everybody knows as as legislators and advocacy. I mean, I mean we play some advocacy roles in in, in for our, for our constituents. Over time, it's even getting in the realm of development agents. Okay. This morning on my way, somebody called me. I thought the person was going to greet me and we're going to exchange. I said, oh, no, I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's got into that, that realm. Mm -hmm. And so our work is evolving. It's getting into realms that hitherto were not our consent. Mm. And we'll go to the house, we'll take stands on very um, 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 critical issues being discussed. I mean, at the national stage. I take a stance against somebody's interest, mm -hmm. and you, you, these things are evolving. So doesn't that say I, more I about the nature of the security of the country, and not necessarily that, that is why that is why that is why I started. I started off by saying that the security of the member of parliament should be um, 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 provided in the context of that of the general general Ghanaian Do populace. Do you feel safe if, in this country, honourable? I feel safe. So you don't need a security person. It, to it isn't you. that because I need security. Look, the first point of my security is myself mm -hmm. by being conscious of my security it's a first point yes Before but if the majority leader of parliament security. is asking for security for members of parliament this this stems from the experiences that we've been through which are experiences in the regular past. Ghanaians face as well oh well, regular right? Ghanaians do uh -huh. but are you we see, asking for more what, security what, for what the, you the average saying, Ghanaian? what you were saying and the last bit of it you agree with me mm -hmm. because of what they do yes but then we're we having Ghanaians here who are journalists, they're on TV every day critiquing government, private individuals, heads of uh, organizations, mm. who are also at risk. But nobody's asking them to, to have more access to security because their lives are at stake. Everybody is at liberty to take care of their security. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that, and I'll, I'll repeat it. Including members of parliament? Including members of okay. parliament. So I, I take care of my security okay. needs. So that's right? not something we should but, bring to the floor. But, 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 but. Also, because of what I do, mm -hmm. there's an extent to which an individual like me, a member of parliament, could provide the security that I need because of what I do. Okay. Because of what I do. Okay. So if it's been assessed and, and there is a requirement that we move a notch higher mm. than what, as an individual, I could provide, why not? Okay, that's fine. What happened over the, over the weekend mm -hmm. was quite scary. Yeah, it was. It was very scary, scary mm -hmm. I should say. And instances that, like, the, the, the majority leader was saying. Perhaps maybe we should, shouldn't we look at maybe providing jobs for young people so they don't have so much time on their hands that they want to go 
steal from a member of parliament? I, I am sure that if in, in states or countries where the unemployment rates are much lower than mm -hmm. ours, crime still persists. And crime, there will always be crime. And usually these it, people, it, are, it's people not, who are it's the very not bottom about, it's of, not the, about, of, the, of the There will structure. always be crime. You will agree with me. In nations or in economies where unemployment is next to non-existent, mm. there is still crime because to a people point where someone will goes still to an be... MP's house to steal. <laughs> I mean, him? what limits them? Okay. I mean, people. Uh, there are people who are naturally um, tuned to that sort of um, um, life, okay. and it will always pass. So it's mm -hmm. not about um, the level of unemployment or. or so so or today employment. is the member of parliament, and the member of parliament has protection. What if tomorrow is the doctor or the, the, the lawyer? The, 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 what the, happens? The, 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 the current situation is that we don't mm. have any security. Mm. State does not provide any security for me as a member. Do of you parliament. think it should stay that way? If if the assessment is that the 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 the, the work because of the work that I do, mm. it's putting me or it's making my 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 life more riskier mm. than it used to. Mm -hmm. Then and then the appropriate action has to be taken by the state. All right, thank you very much, Honorable. Honorable the family, do you do you feel safe or you also need um, some security personnel to? I'm endangered. Really? Yes, and and I'll okay. situate <laughs> and I'll situate my discussion. Within what the law says. Okay. As a public office holder, I fall under Article 7 to 1 category of public office holders. Mm -hmm. And it states very clearly, if I may go ahead. Which, if I may read. Mm -hmm. Article 7 to 1 1. The salaries and allowances mm. payable and the facilities and privileges available to A the Speaker and Deputy Speakers and Members of Parliament, mm -hmm. B, the Chief Justice and the other Justices of the Superior Court of Judicature, mm -hmm. C, the Auditor General, and he gives you all the categories, and it comes to 3, 71, 3. Mm. It says, for the purposes of this article, and except as otherwise provided in this Constitution, salaries includes allowances, mm -hmm facilities and privileges and retiring benefits or awards. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at the, 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 the system that we have now very clearly, mm -hmm. all the superior court judges, that is high court judges, court of appeal judges, and the Supreme Court judges, and the CJ itself, they are assigned police officers permanently, mm -hmm. day and night. Okay. When it comes to Article 71 2, mm -hmm. which deals with the president, the vice president, and his ministers and deputy ministers, they are also perpetually assigned security personnel mm -hmm. 24 hours around the clock. But when it comes to parliament, apart from the speaker, the speaker's deputies, and the leadership, even the leadership in parliament, it took I think it took the killing of the Honorable J.B. Dankwa hmm. for, oh, why well, he was killed. Or, or say I'm the not murder. Saying okay. He's not saying or it took the murder. It took the murder <laughs> of the Honorable J.B. Dankwa <laughs> in his bedroom mm -hmm. for Parliament to wake up and say that no, members of Parliament are really endangered. And when the arrangement eventually was done, he was leadership. So that is five on the majority side and five on the minority side who were assi who have been assigned permanent security detail. Okay, so you agree with the majority the leader? Yes, I okay. agree with him. Have you and submitted your address to the interior I minister? Have. You have. I have. Why are your colleagues hesitant to submit their addresses? I think a lot of our colleagues have, but the but thing, yesterday we the heard thing, them. They no, were all up in arms. No, no, I haven't. No, I think I think the the issue was that. We were initially told that we'll be assigned in consonance with Article 71, mm -hmm. uh, 1 and A, A 1, 2, 3, and, and 4, mm -hmm. we will we'll be assigned. But then later, the arrangement was that the police would rather detail personnel mm -hmm. to, to recce the, to, to run reconnaissance, mm -hmm. to patrol, to patrol the, the, the vicinities of our residential areas at night. Mm -hmm. And we think that it is not only when we are at home, that we are at risk. Sometimes we are even confronted in traffic. So they should follow you guys everywhere? No. We are only saying, why is it that as a member of parliament, 
I'm supposed I am entitled to that, but I'm denied. Yeah. But the high court judge is granted. But well, we have hold on. just two weeks hold, ago we had teachers on. saying hold they don't have hold access on. to their benefits, hold and we all said they should be patient hold on. with us. Hold on. The, DC, yes. the deputy minister, mm -hmm. according to the constitutional stipulations, mm -hmm. have fifty percent of the president's appoint ministerial appointment should come from parliament. Mm. A person becomes an MP. Mm -hmm. He subsequently is appointed as a minister or deputy minister of state. Mm -hmm. Then suddenly he's assigned a security. But the fundamental Qualification that, that, that enables him to be appointed a minister, that is ignored, even though that is also accounted for. Okay. So we are saying that we are not being treated. For, do you know that a lot of people think that as, as members of parliament, we even have free fuel? We mm -hmm. don't. Okay. We, our vehicles are not, are not official vehicles. So should we, shouldn't we can, instead you know, focus on making this country only the MP who buys safer? Their own yes, it is, only, it is only the MPs. Shouldn't we it, instead we did, focus on making this country safe for all its citizens it's, exactly. instead of investing more money you know, into protecting our members of you know, parliament? But do you know what they told Kennedy? What did they the, tell Kennedy? They, look, according to the majority leader, mm -hmm. when, when the, when the, uh, the miscreants entered, mm -hmm. they told him that we've been sent to kill him. Mm -hmm. But because fortuitously your wife was it was breastfeeding your baby, we have decided that we won't kill you because when we kill you, your wife and the baby may struggle to survive. And Lida actually had to say this on the floor of the house. Yes. Look, I had been attacked three times within the past three years in my in my home attached motor. Mm -hmm. Look, the in, in April 2017. Mm -hmm. When I woke up, I was looking into the barrel of a gun. Wow. And it, it, the, the person said, hey, lawyer, get that. Where is the money? You understand? So these are people who know me. Mm -hmm. And they thought that I'd come home with money. Do you know what it was? What? It was stickers, my, you know, when we were campaigning, election stickers to be, you know, the sticker type, which is very small. It looks like currency when you pack it. And I suspect that when I took delivery, somebody thought it, it was word of nose that I had, had, had taken home. So they trailed me at midnight and came. When they saw it, they were shocked. It was, so they had to show them that it wasn't money. It was sticker. And, and I'm really and sorry that you had to experience it, that. But it, you know, oh no, so we, we also have Ghanaian My colleague Kwame Agboja was driving. They shot at his vehicle. Mm -hmm. And the, bu he, the bullet missed him, but the bullet went through the vehicle. If there were other people in the vehicle, like his children at the back, mm -hmm. they would have... I don't on, know what would have happened. Shouldn't we, as, as legislators, shouldn't we focus yeah. on making you this know, country safer so for everyone? So let us there move. Are citizens you see, generally, here who go to the I, bank. I agree. To withdraw 10,000 cities, 15,000 cities, and they are killed. I agree. But and I am, no one but, says anything but I am about asking it. You. Because they are average No, but jobs. I am asking you, uh -huh. ministers, Yes. Uh, signed... 24 hour security detail. Mm -hmm. If 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 I am a common person, if I am a, I'm the man in a, working in the street, the ordinary man, I will speak generally about the security situation and leave it. Yeah. But where I have the privilege of occupying a public office of a certain status and I'm entitled to certain facilities, okay. and those facilities are denying me, but my colleagues within the same bracket are entitled. Uh, no, I granted. granted. It's, it's a it's problem. It is, it is okay. not for you. That's a problem. Yeah, of course, uh -huh. I agree with you. Oh, but initially, you said it was. No, 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 okay. no. no. You see, I, I kept saying that assessment and if we yes. have been open up to more risks than before, yes, we are. It, it's not for nothing. In our last sitting, mm. somebody came to. Yes. the chamber yes and and caused chaos mm. when people are demonstrating parliament is one of the points of call even our officers mm -hmm. in job 600 sometimes you are seated somebody comes and just knocks you open it and, and, and it's, it's and a you are business not somebody if you did you submit figure. your address to the interior minister i i, I haven't why i must admit you just because, said you need security oh i'm saying that if the assessment is that why have you submitted your, your oh your maybe address? maybe some of those issues and because some of us already we we have taken measures to ensure our security and we think that but this is a step towards finding you the solution exactly you now that there is why it, are you now that it has a chance to submit now that this has come up again address. and assessments and issues like that i'm sure that we are going to be proactive and and, and actually so you are the discrimination and, and like, against like, parliament like, is too much like 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 you see parliament is, 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 is an institution that we need to be against? yes i think yes. so okay out the three arms of government i think parliament is at a huge disadvantage okay. and if we don't build the institution of parliament Mm -hmm. Our democracy will not 
move much faster like we Thank we, you we very much. So we'll move on to, to our go. final topic here. Engage in policy-based argument, not rants, MPP to NDC. So um, I, I'll just, we don't have time, so I'm not even going to get into this issue. But a couple of days ago, NDC released some, you know, list of people they felt were family and friends of the NDC. And I'm going to quote Nana Boache here. Um, well, let me let me just say the party put out a list of people serving in various positions in government who are allegedly related to the president, the vice president, or some of the president's appointees. The party even called for the enactment of laws to stop such nepotism. So uh, Sami Jenfi came out to say the enactment of the anti-nepotism legislation to help check abuse of power in the advancement of the nepotistic agenda of President Akufuado, his appointees, and any unforeseen uh, recurrences is long overdue in Ghana. But Henry Nanabwache, who is the youth organizer for NPP, does not agree. He says the people of Volta region have benefited from free SHS. They are, they, he named over 100,000 people who have benefited. So clearly, Ghana is here to, for all of us. He even cited NAPCO as well. So, Honorable, let me give you a chance to respond to that. Honorable Dafiamu. Shouldn't we feel the, like no, we're no, all no. part you of see, it? You see, this is, this is the problem I have with my, 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 my friends in NPP. When we raise the issues, then they say... Free SHS. But we are all benefiting we are, from the we, policy. We are we are talking about and he mentioned NAPCO as matter. well, not just free SHS. You see, no, no, we are not talking about employment. Okay. And he mentioned we are not talking about we are we are <laughs> saying we are saying that when when Nana promised mm -hmm. and accused JM mm -hmm. of running uh, a family and friends government mm. of just about one or two people mm -hmm. who got opportunity to serve in his government mm -hmm. and promised that he will never do so. Mm -hmm. We have demonstrated and, that and, he has... Hold on. The youth organizers he, he has asking done, to engage in policy, but, not to just but this is policy. We did that. No, did but this. this is policy. Okay, go ahead. You understand? We are saying that this is unacceptable in public governance. Okay. It is not only your family people who, who help you to campaign to win political power. Mm. So you don't create the space for only majority of, of, of your family people. <laughs> and this is a policy. Even if the whole of Ghana is our beneficiaries of the policies. Well, and who is speaking of ESHS when we are talking about family and friends? When, when they raised the issue in opposition, it, so it was not a policy matter. Okay. Is, is that what they are telling us? Okay, so I'll throw that to you, Honorable. They are not talking about policy. They are talking about... You know, Differ. family and no, friends. No, no, no. Let's, let's, let's situate. Let's okay, situate. You're not talking what, about what free is policy. Yes. You're talking about family and friends. What is the policy? Government. Is it, okay. is it, what is is the it part of our policy that when you get the opportunity see, to see, serve in eh, executive, eh, you eh, appoint wait, only wait, your friends and family members? Wait. So, okay. Differ, Differ, let, me, let me also make my point. Mm -hmm. First the constitution frowns on that. Oh, allow him respond. Oh, you drink your friend. tea and let him respond. Go ahead. He, he'll drink his tea. You have 60 seconds. See, see, those appointees mm -hmm. are Ghanaians, and they? Uh, they yeah, are they family and friends of the president? Oh, I can break it down. A lot of the people on the list are not family okay. of the president. But they are friends. Lots of the people. Are they friends? Are, you, are they friends? You coined the term family and friends. We didn't ask coin to, it. Ask to, ask to where they so are friends. Allow allow him. I, want to, I want to situate it in, in, in this, in this mm -hmm. contest. Mm -hmm. Number one. They are Ghanaians. Yeah, but is there a conflict Number of two, interest in any way? They are competent. Mm -hmm. How how but there are other Ghanaians who are you competent see, as well. Especially so, so, the names, so when you the names accuse on the list. them of running a family, the, the, the people the names on the list. I, I, I do the the names on the list. So the people that they are appointed who were close to make the people that they are appointed were not competent. Joyce Mara was not competent. We we still we still want to hold you to a standard. Then you want to we say we say we we coined we coined family and friends in the situation where you allocate. You allocate our bauxite reserves to your brother. Really? So yes. it only applies to allocate context, bauxite reserves to your context, brother. The, in that context, okay. it is nepotism. Okay. No. okay, but in the context of what the NDC said, in the context, context said, where, where you have in the context of what the NDC said, let me 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 in the affairs of this party. He's the only credible person to... You see, he's to not the only credible. But you see, when you look at the list For that is sure, provided... Are you listening to yourself? Mm -hmm. Are you saying... Are you telling me, me that... Speak, please. I, I am not even sure how um, a personality like Obama Tete knows the president. Mm. I am not even too sure the extent of relationship between someone like Kelly, Gadjepo, and the president. No, they say some people are in the and the likes. They, ah. Allegedly. I, I, I said I even don't know he the extent. Know. Yes, but yes. you see, these are people that I know. Mm -hmm. 
I know because I have worked with them. And they got the job based on merit. I think it's it's I not I think I know it's merit. Okay. Thank you. I know very, it's merit. Very and so merit. For, and they got the, the whole list wrong. Someone like mm -hmm. the roads minister. Mm -hmm. The fact that that is a chamber, the president is a chamber, doesn't make them in any blood relation. Okay. Someone like Kwame Kufu was mentioned as a staffer at the at the presidency. Mm -hmm. That whole list is I don't know how they came by that that, that list. It's just you see, some it is, came you see, story. Now the you are NDC exposed, should tell us you are exposed by your NDC should tell us you are exposed by your NDC should tell us you are exposed by your NDC should tell us you are exposed by your own standards and what for is mission for this nation you are exposed by your own standards. Mr. Fusaini is MP for Okai Kwe North. Thank you so so much for being here and composing yourself appropriately. Yes, we do uh, so. We do thank so. you at home as well for we joining do us. So. Don't go anywhere. We Breakfast Daily. Them. We'll be right back. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, The City Tube. For exclusive Breakfast Daily content and other City TV programs. Like, comment, and share with your friends.